Hey guys, Mix here, and in today's video, we are finally back with working on the fire truck build series go kart thing. Last video, I kind of just ended it off here after we, you know, began to construct the frame because I wanted a good saw instead of using, you know, a little cutoff wheel to get more precise cuts when doing uh, the cross members, which we're going to be doing today. So we did one over there. Didn't come out too bad, but I definitely. Uh, wanted another saw to get it, you know, a little bit better. And after literally over a week, it finally came. So I just got this all set up. So we definitely should be able to uh, get some good cuts with that. And I could also angle it, which I'm going to have to do uh, once we do the tube cross members so that the tube sits flush against the side of each frame rail. So that's why there's been, you know, a week pause with the video is because I was just waiting for the saw and for like several days straight last week it was literally monsooning <laughs> but luckily I had this thing covered up uh pretty good so it didn't rust too bad but I mean all of it it could really just rub off it's basically just surface rust and this is going to be completely sanded down once it's complete and uh clear coated and everything like that and you won't even be able to see this because it is the frame and uh, everything could be on top of it. So I have everything set up, uh, basically how I had it in the last video. So what I'm going to go ahead and start doing is make another cross member five and a half feet down from this one. And that's just because I did 16 and a half divided by three, just to kind of make it, you know, somewhat spaced out evenly. And then once I get the other cross member in here, then I want to start constructing the uh, triangles, you know, the little brace, that's going to go between each frame rail to kind of make it more rigid. And then we'll see where we are from there. After today, it's supposed to be raining again for a couple more days. So we'll just see what we can crank out in a couple of hours. Because I just got home from school and the sun's probably going to set in probably like two hours or so. So I'm just going to see what I can get done with the new saw. We definitely should be able to work a little bit faster. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get to work and uh, start trying to complete this frame. moment here and admire that cut that is nice definitely feels good to have this now that's for sure up welding the uh, top and sides on both sides but what i'm gonna go ahead and do is start making a truss and then once i have to weld the other sides on the truss because i'm gonna be welding in a circle then i'll go ahead and flip it up and weld on the other sides of this just so i'm not going up and down and up and down going you know trying to get the other sides of the welds because this thing is pretty heavy so i'm gonna begin measuring for the tubing and everything and uh you know begin cutting it and then i'm gonna go ahead and weld it and then once it's time to do the other side i'll go ahead and lift this up and uh go ahead and do that So I just got the uh, pretty much as far as I could go while it's on this side uh, all welded up. It definitely looks pretty good, and I'm really happy. I was able to get it basically perfectly centered between the two cross members. So definitely looking really good. So what I'm going to do is flip it over and uh, try and clean up some of the rust it got from sitting. It's definitely worse on 
the other side because that's the side it was laying down on so the moisture and everything kind of got over there but honestly it's not really a big deal as long as i clean it all up with a wire brush and sandpaper and whatever we should be pretty good it's definitely more rigid i can already tell usually the outsides would like flex up and down and bow when i remove it now it feels really rigid now it's not flexing dang that is precision right there so this thing is flipped over and that is why i wanted to wait for that saw to continue that is a uh, pretty pretty good for being what i'm working with here trying to get everything level on a shed floor that alignment is close to perfect i mean it's basically completely flush same goes for the bottom i mean that is nice. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and weld up the uh, other side of the cross member and the other side of the uh, little truss support. So guys, we are all welded up on both sides now. Bracing and everything is all good to go. And this thing is really, really stiff. I could probably sit on this and it probably won't even flex. Like this thing is ultra rigid now, which is what I wanted. And my drill died, but once it's uh, all charged up, I could probably go ahead and just clean off the rest of the little spatter and everything from the flux core. But I'm definitely pretty happy uh, how the welds are looking, that's for sure. I read some of the comments from last video and <laughs> I'm trying to take some of you guys tips, like, you know, like, kind of bevel the e edges when I kind of go around and a bunch of other stuff, you know, certain motions I just make while welding. And then again, if you guys are new here, this is my welder, Harbor Freight, just like my new saw and basically everything else I have. So we kind of just work here on a budget and we always tend to make it work. Obviously this is an ideal circumstances. I mean, this thing is halfway out of the shed, but we're gonna continue to hustle until uh, we can upgrade and move on to bigger, and better things because this is probably the biggest build i've ever done both literally and figuratively uh i mean constructing everything myself learning a lot size matter it's huge definitely pretty cool but as you guys can see it is dark out and one thing i want to go ahead and do is get the rear axle ordered i'm probably just gonna go to like go power sports and stuff and order like a live axle for it so i'm just gonna measure across and see uh how big and what size they can do and I'm also trying to find a uh, donor go-kart to try and, or quad, to try and get some parts off of. And I don't want to rob it off of like a good quad or go-kart or something, but something that's like kind of junky that we can rob steering components off of. Because that would definitely be a lot of help because I don't really plan on making the steering components. That would be pretty crazy. <laughs> but kind of finding something and adapting it to this. And then basically what my plan is, is to get the frame set up on wheels depending on what i could find have it basically rolling and then start building on top of that build the cab build the uh whole little hose bed and everything get the engine on start running electrical all the cables brakes everything like that and i do plan on doing some cross members and supports with the v's and an end cross member on either side but i do want to wait until i go ahead and get like the axle and the steering components in there because i don't want to go ahead and know have everything cut and welded in there and then it be in the way of some type of steering linkage or rear end component but it is honestly unbelievable how much this strengthened up this frame honestly i'm pretty sure we could probably get away without even doing a cross member i am going to do it but but it is that rigid feeling that i have that much faith in it that it would be completely fine but anyway guys with that being said i'm going to be ending off the video here once we find a donor quad or go-kart then we could definitely get a, get a lot more done in each video because I know where everything is put. And then once I know where all the, you know, little components are going to be, then I could continue to brace up this frame just a teeny bit more. And by that time, after all those components are on, we should have wheels on it. And then we can, and then we can start uh, build from the ground up, like I was saying before. But with that being said, I'm going to be ending it off here. Sorry for the little delay in videos. I mean, getting this here was such a pain and it wasn't in stock in any store, so... Honestly, I was just like, whatever, I'll just order it. But I'm going to be on the lookout for some type of go-kart or quad. And I do want to try and get it running before uh, we go ahead and take some components off of it. Unless I find something that the 
engine is shot, but the, you know, suspension components are fine. But with that being said, follow my social medias. They will be on the outro of this video, Instagram and Snapchat. I use the most, but thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, share, friends, put the channel.